Hello, this is a model of the human eye is showing the eyeball and some of the muscles attached to the eyeball that are responsible for movement of the eyeball. So if we take a look in a lateral view, we can see the lateral rectus muscle, the superior rectus muscle, the inferior rectus muscle, and on the top we can see the tendon for the superior oblique muscle. If we uh, turn the eyeball toward the interior portion and look at the interior view of the eye, we can see the colored portion of the eye, which is the iris. And the iris is a muscle tissue capable of changing the size of the pupil. In the center is the opening where the light goes through to the retina, that's the pupil. The iris is part of the middle layer that we call the choroid layer. So if we turn the eyeball and look at the dissected portion of the eyeball, we notice in the bottom a white layer, that's the outer layer, that is called the sclera. And then we notice a dark pigmented layer, that's the middle layer, that is called the choroid layer, and right below it we have the retina, and that's the layer where we find the rods and the cones, which are the receptors that allow us to see the different images. Uh, the cones are associated with color vision. And if we look closely at the dissected portion and look at the middle layer, we notice that in the interior portion of the eye, there is a structure called the ciliary body, which is also muscular tissue. And we notice that there are suspensory ligament extending from the ciliary body toward the lens. So the ciliary body movement will allow us to change the shape of the lens and that will allow us to focus on the images that we see. And uh, in the eye, there are two chambers that contain fluid. The chamber in front of the lens contain aqueous humor, and the chamber behind the lens contain the vitreous humor. The aqueous humor continuously form and drain through openings or sinuses, and if there is any abnormality with the sinuses, interfere with their normal function, the fluid will accumulate and will push toward the retina, and uh, that is one of the causes of the disease we call glycoma. If we take a look at the front of the eye, we notice that the interior portion of the sclera is clear, and that is the cornea, so the cornea is part of the outer layer, the sclera. The other portion of the anatomy of the eye that is shown on the model is the optic nerve that will carry the images received by the cones and by the rods in the retina and carry those images to the brain. Mm -hmm.